I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute for Monday, May 6th. Soybeans and corn both closed higher, continuing to see support from the weather. Stateside, most forecasts have more planning delay in rain in parts of the Midwest and Plains to start off this week. And parts of the region could see severe storms, including a chance for high winds, tornado and hail in parts of the region. USDA's weekly crop progress and condition numbers were out after the close on Monday, and the new supply and demand estimates are out this upcoming Friday. And both corn and soybeans continue to keep an eye on those harvest delays in parts of southern Brazil and Argentina, and the hot, dry weather impacting second crop corn in Brazil. Wheat closed higher, also watching the weather. There was some rain over the weekend in dry parts of the southwestern plains, but more will be needed. And there was some rainfall in some of the dry parts of Russia, but again, more will be needed to ensure successful development. Live cattle were mostly lower and feeders were down, watching the direct cash cattle markets and the distribution of this week's show list. Feeders had additional pressure from that higher move in corn. And hogs were mixed, mostly lower, on questions about sustained pork demand. With the closing market minute for Monday, May 6th, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins.